Hi there, it's Thomas with Believe in the Run. This is Robbie with Believe in the Run. Yay, Robbie, it's been a while. <sighs> since what, uh, since I've seen you? Yeah, or just since we've done a review since you've been kind of injured right. reserve. You're watching Between Two Shoes. We got a treat, the, an on a shoe versus a Nike shoe. This is kind of controversial because not everybody loves this shoe as much as we do, but we think the Nike Pegasus is one of the standard shoes. I kind of evaluate daily trainers against the Pegasus, it's the OG of the daily trainers. Another reason we've never done against on is we've never really liked an on shoe enough to have to worry about whether we would choose it between another shoe. We're usually like, yeah, anything but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it would be in an L column every time. So yeah, this is the on cloud go, which is their quote unquote budget uh, shoe to daily trainer. It comes in at $140, but it's, a uh, new, uh, new shoe in the on family, I guess. The shoe feels good underfoot. It has what you need in a daily trainer. It actually reminded me a lot of the Pegasus when we were running it. I thought it just had that nice soft give without being sloppy. It felt good underfoot. You could pick it up. I, I think it was a really nice shoe to run in. I was super surprised by this shoe. I did not have high expectations. A lot of on shoes in the past it felt very clunky brick like heavy all those things what's different about this shoe and i think which made a huge difference is that they included a layer of helium foam on top of the speed board this go around and then you also have the sock liners which is an extra level of comfort and it's interesting to say that because that's really the defining characteristic of that shoe that makes it separate from some of the other ons is that softer underfoot feel before that speed board kind of like when the speed board was up close to your foot, maybe you got more of a snappy feel. We come back over here to the Pegasus 39. You don't get to 39 without doing something right. Fit of this is great. I, I like, again, they have the fly wires back in this one. It locks down over the foot really nicely. It's light, it's airy, it's not too heavy of a shoe. It just, it's like kind of like your no frills running shoe. I love it. I think the air zoom unit is nice in this. Yeah. And the forefoot, you feel that nice pop off the, off the toe, when you want to pick up the pace, you do get that little bit of a pop, so. Yeah, what do they call it, prioception or whatever? Pri I always say it, proprioception. Yeah, proprioception. <laughs> anyway, you feel that it gives you a little feedback under the palm of your foot to get things rolling. Plenty of cushioning in here. It's not too high of a stack, as you can see. I mean, this is not like a ton of foam, but it's cushioned enough for those miles. I found both of these shoes to just be enjoyable to get daily miles in. I'm kind of leaning one way, what about you? Real quick, I wanted to say this surprisingly is a half ounce less. Uh. Weighs a half ounce less than the Pegasus. So that's that was a shocker to me in a way as well. I think I'm still going Pegasus only because it's twenty dollars cheaper. I mean that's a lot. I mean if you're looking at twenty dollars cheaper, you could buy a few socks or you know, if you wanted to put a custom insert in the shoe. Yeah, which if we didn't say this is 140 and that's 120. I I am really surprised that on through a shoe out there that is might be the best on shoe to run in. I do like the Cloud Monster a lot, but I think this is a better upper. Like just daily use shoe. Yeah. yeah. I think I'm gonna go with you on choosing the Pegasus. The price has part of the reason I like it. Also love the way this one fit. I thought the upper fit a little bit better for me. I got a little better of a fit. I did like the traction on this one slightly more. Yeah, I agree. Uh, What's weird is that I feel like it's better than a lot of their trail shoes. In fact, I think that's one of the cool things about the Pegasus is that you can kind of use it as a trail shoe if you need to. So. Yeah, overall I feel like this is just a more, this covers more bases than a lot of shoes. All right, so that's it for Between Two Shoes. This was a close call, probably one of the closer ones that we've had. Yeah. Um, so Pegasus wins this battle, All but right. real close behind, we got the On Cloud Go. Go. Let's go. Oh, that was real close. That was real close. <laughs>